I'm Melanie Bass. I'm Keon Hurd. And I'm Andrew Francisco. And, and this, this is Spider Shield, Shield News. News. This week we have a tribute for Miss Alada, a feature on Miss Ashley, and a New Year's questionnaire. As we return from our winter break with loud welcomes and the talks about vacation trips, we were quickly quieted due to the abrupt news of Mr. Lada's passing. To pay our respects and honor his life, reporters America Valdivia and Misela Gonzalez have a small tribute for Mr. Lada. Uh, are you available or are you can tell? Yes, I have a very, I have a lot of friends with Mr. Lada. I met him before I started working here. Years ago, we used to work at the district. I do have a memory of him. I remember one time uh, we were uh, working at the district and uh, we were waiting. We were all arriving and he arrived in the Jeep. And the Jeep didn't have any doors on it. He took the doors off. And he had his Harley boots on and everything. And then with that loud Jeep and the Harley boots, it was really cool. What's one memory you have with Mr. Lara that you would like to share? Um, I have a lot of memories with Mr. Lara, um, but so I can't really choose one. But I think that one of my best memories, I guess, throughout this school year was just uh, getting to know him a lot better professionally and just as a person overall. Um, he was really great overall, very passionate. Uh, he did a lot to mentor me throughout the school year. And because of him, I'm bridge coordinator this year. So um, I do appreciate him very much. Um, I really cannot choose one memory, but I do I do want to say that I appreciate who he was and everything he taught me and like what he has done for this school overall, and especially for uh, special education. Me and Lara, we had uh, a very strong uh, professional relationship. Um, we um, agreed and disagreed on a lot of things. Uh, Lara, you know, is a super smart guy. He knew everything there is to know about um, special ed and my work ethic and everything that I do in special ed and just working in the school in general. Hi, I'm Sita. I am the avid coordinator here, and when I say that, uh, it it leaves a, a heavy heart for me just because AVID's a program that Ms. Alato brought to this campus during my first year of teaching, nine years ago. And even nine years ago, he hired me, he was in the, the room, he interviewed me. Uh, a lot of kids aren't really sure, well, the impacts, but all the teachers we know that Ms. Alato, he impacted our school in ways that um, we really hard to define. But I know within the AVID program, uh, we wouldn't be here, we wouldn't exist without him. We miss him dearly. This is America Valdivia speaking. We would like to dedicate today's episode to Mr. Lara, a beloved colleague, friend, and husband. Mr. Lara was an inspiring administrator who worked closely with special education programs and overall strived to bring more inclusion to our school. Mr. Lara helped strengthen many programs like AVID and Magnet to ensure students receive the best education possible. He was admired by many and is survived by his wife and children. On behalf of the Spartan Shield team, we'd like to thank Mr. Lara for all that he's done. Another person that has an impact on HP is our site coordinator for Woodcraft Rangers, Ms. Ashley. Here with more is reporter Keon Hurd. This is reporter Keon Hurd. Joining me today is Ms. Ashley, the coordinator of Woodcraft Rangers here at HP High. So Ashley, what is Woodcraft? Woodcraft Rangers is an after-school program under the umbrella of Beyond the Bell. How long have you been working with Woodcraft? I've been working with Woodcraft for seven years. And how's it like? So I started as a club leader for three years and I mainly did leadership, youth advisory board, and a volleyball coach. And then I promoted at Elizabeth Learning Center where I also went to school as the site coordinator. And then I transferred to HP High in 2021. Um, how do you create a club in Woodcraft Rangers? Like, how does the process work? So we do go based off of ratios. We need to have 20 to one. So it's 20 students to one coach. And we like to start off depending on what the club is. What does an average day look like for you? I get to campus about one o'clock-ish. 
and that gives me about an hour and a half to settle what I need to do in here before program starts from 3.30 to 6.30. During program is the fun part. That's where everyone's doing what they want to do, you know? I get to observe all of the clubs, um, get to see my staff, and then uh, staff appreciation is like my favorite part, I think, um, because without the staff, you know, we don't really have that engagement with the program. So I like to shout out my staff um, for everything that they do, I appreciate them. And our teachers that definitely help me. What kind of programs does Woodcraft have here, like in HP? In HP, we have everything. We have leadership, we have... So not to confuse um, my leadership with the school leadership, mine is more a representative of each club already that kind of gives me a feedback of what each club needs. So for example, we have color guard, with Miss Anthony, we have drumline, we have music ensemble, weight training, sports, girls in sports, SRLA, Just Keep Living, Toupee, Pep Squad, um, gaming, we have homework club for whoever wants to show up and do homework or if they really, really need help with like college applications, with their resume building, um, what's the difference between, you know, trade tech jobs or trade tech schools and college, things like that. So I have a, I have a lot. <laughs> How long has Woodcraft been around? For 100 years. So we celebrated last year, 1922. Shout out to Woodcraft's beloved Miss Ashley. Now that the New Year's upon us, get your resolutions out because reporter Haley Carbajal is going to be asking you, what's your New Year's resolution? I'm Haley with Haley Over the Influence for today. We're going to be asking fellow Spartans what their New Year's resolution is. Let's go. I'm here with... Ivan Flores. And what's your New Year's resolution? Man, oh, this year I didn't really make any New Year's resolutions. I didn't feel like making myself a little list. Like, I didn't feel like eating the little grapes. Because whatever good was coming this year, like, it's already coming my way. I don't have to manifest it or nothing, like, on some little paper. Like, it's like all good energy here. And what's your New Year's resolution? To be better than last year. To be better? To be better than last year here. Yeah. To be better. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Uh, to get a job. The unemployment rate is going down, people. 2023, his year. Yeah. <laughs> and what's your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution is to practice harder. To practice hard? Yeah, for, for swimming practice. Oh, oh yeah, you're a swimmer. Okay, I love that. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And what's your New Year's resolution? To get my driver's license. Jasmine picking us up and taking us out of school. Yeah, definitely, especially you. <laughs> you heard it here first. Thank this has been Haley Over the Influence. Back to the studio. That's, That's all, all we, we have for today, today Spartans. Spartans. I'm Eleni Beth. I'm Keon Hurt. And I'm Audrey Francisco. And, and thank, thank you, you for, for watching Spartan Shield News. News.